Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my latest pair of bespoke Cleverly dress shoes. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those questions and comments as possible. So here we go. It's my favorite day here at The Hangar Project. I've just received uh, my latest pair of bespoke shoes from George Cleverly, uh, the London bespoke shoemaking firm. I had the fitting for these shoes last April whenever I was in London, and you can see the video of the fitting uh, that we have posted here on our YouTube channel. As with most bespoke shoemakers, George Cleverly always has one fitting prior to taking a pair of shoes to completion. After you have that fitting, uh, any adjustments are made that need to be made. Uh, there weren't any adjustments that needed to be made to this particular pair of shoes. Uh, but after those adjustments are made, the shoe is sent back to the maker, and normally within three or four months, the shoes are completed. So I had the fitting for these shoes back in April, and a few months later, uh, here I've received notification that the shoes have been completed and they were sent to me via DHL. George Cleverly does an excellent job delivering their shoes. Every pair is individually shipped in one of their rigid boxes, uh, either by DHL or UPS, and within a few days they're sitting on your doorstep. So here I am, I have my latest pair of shoes, and let's unbox these together. So here we are, we've got Cleverly's signature bespoke packaging. Uh, it comes in this, uh, you know, corrugate outer carton. You open this uh, and it reveals, again, the uh, George Cleverly um, signature kind of bespoke shoe box. Uh, they really have one of the best shoe boxes out there. I mean, it's a rigid box that's a drawer and inside are my latest pair of bespoke shoes. So let's open these up. Now, as you can see, Cleverly takes exceptional care in packaging everything and this is uh, just to ensure that nothing is damaged during transit. You know, I always love the smell of opening uh, my bespoke shoes for the first time. Uh, you know, bespoke shoes really do smell differently. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if it's the adhesives, uh, lack thereof, or just the quality of the leather, but you can always tell the difference uh, of a bespoke pair of shoes. Just a side note, every pair of bespoke shoes from Cleverly comes uh, with one of their Abbeyhorn shoe horns. As you can see, this is a particularly beautiful one, uh, all white. Uh, we sell uh, these travel shoe horns on hangerproject.com. We call it our travel shoe horn because it's perfect for travel. Uh, and this really showcases one of the things I love of uh, the natural horn products, and that is the variation uh, in color and kind of the marbling effect you have. So great shoe horn. You can never have too many shoe horns. Uh, I guess that's one of the benefits of a new pair of bespoke shoes is that you add another shoehorn to your collection. So here I am. Uh, this is the uh, George Cleverly shoe bag. Uh, it's uh, uh, kind of a micro suede embroidered with GC. And uh, let's take a look at these. I almost want to close my eyes. So here we are. Wow. Absolutely beautiful pair of the Baron Dorides and a black pigskin. Um, uh, as all of you on this channel know, I mean, this particular casual loafer is uh, one of my absolute favorite shoes. Uh, this is my third pair of Baron Dorides. The first pair was an antiqued brown. The second pair was a burgundy pigskin. The third pair is the black, which could have been the first. And then the fourth pair that I commissioned the last time I was in London is the same shoe made out of a beautiful burgundy alligator uh, that's a limited edition skin uh, that George Glasgow Jr. selected whenever they were passing through, uh, I believe it was Georgia from their supplier there. Um, and those are currently being made up right now. And so one of the things that I love about bespoke, and you know, you really could do this from a non-bespoke maker, but it would have to be a little bit of a higher end one, is just the idea of kind of settling on kind of your signature. I mean, this, as far as I'm concerned, is the most elegant uh, casual dress shoe. I strictly prefer it to a penny loafer. Uh, it's something that you're only gonna see bespoke. Uh, and I'm quite certain that, you know, most places I go, if not every place, I'll be the only person wearing a shoe in this particular style. I love it uh, and I really just enjoy this shoe 
And so having uh, several shoes made uh, in the same style but out of different materials, that just really allows me to kind of develop a signature. It's having something that's uniquely mine, uh, but then having it be different. And so uh, I really encourage that. And uh, whether it's with the bespoke maker or even someone like an Edward Green or Gaziano where you can do made to order, uh, I love the idea of, of settling on a particular model and then having that made in a bunch of different colors and materials. Absolutely beautiful finish on this shoe. Uh, I feel like this Baron de Ridi, particularly since I've had this made several times, really showcases the evolution uh, within Bespoke. Uh, you know, uh, being able to have something remade several times allows you to slowly evolve and perfect uh, that shoe. And so, you know, the pattern in the first one was significantly different. We made some changes uh, to have this sweep more. Uh, and then we made some subtle changes to the last. And so this is the third pair. I think, uh, you know, after the third pair, everything should be settled uh, and the shoe should be perfect. And these shoes are indeed perfect. Now for my third pair, I went with the black uh, pigskin. So black, you know, is incredibly elegant and versatile. And, uh, you know, what I like about this particular material is because it's done out of a pigskin, you can see that the leather still has texture. So there's character to this shoe that you wouldn't get if it was made simply out of a black uh, calfskin. Now bespoke details, you can see all the Cleverly shoes are uh, delivered uh, with their bespoke shoe trees. You know, it's made out of a special wood that is very light. So despite being a fully lasted wooden shoe tree, uh, it's still really quite light. And what I like about this is, you know, Cleverly, they always stamp uh, your initials onto your shoe uh, tree, uh, but also on the bottom of every single pair, you know, they write uh, the number that corresponds uh, to the unique identifier for this particular shoe, so you know which pair of shoes these shoe trees belong. Uh, and then also they have your name on it. So small touch, not that, you know, these shoe trees would ever fall into anyone else's hands, uh, but it's just nice to know which pair of shoes uh, uh, each pair of shoe trees belong. Now some other just bespoke detailing. Uh, you know, this apron, of course, has been hand sewn and you can see just a nice kind of subtle detail uh, here that just gives this shoe uh, added elegance. Uh, absolutely beautifully crafted. You can see uh, these shoes have clearly been polished. Uh, just again, a testament to the amount of handwork and hand finishing that goes into any bespoke pair of shoes. And my favorite detail of bespoke pair of shoes, again, just boils down to the heel. If you just look at the tolerance of a bespoke pair of shoes, uh, you know, the heel is perfectly shaped to the silhouette of the shoe. It has a slight pitch is beautifully built you know there's no overhang here it just is really built right on top of the shoe and then you can see you know the waist is really quite tight you know again following the shoe line um, and then even the edges are cut close to the shoe uh, with perfect edge finishing in here you know this is called fudging you know where they have the the indentations in here to just give the upper uh, edge of the welt some texture and, uh, you know, again, you know, even the amount of detailing and finishing that goes into the sole, I mean, uh, you know, all these soles are hand finished, hand polished, you know, cleverly nails uh, the, the toe to just give it a little bit of reinforced strength uh, so that uh, this leather doesn't peel back at all. You know, the outsole is sewn to the welt with a blind stitch where uh, this leather is peeled back to create a channel. Uh, through which the outsole is sold to the welt, and then it is uh, pushed back over, glued, uh, and then really buffed flat. So nice, subtle, kind of black interior lining. You can see that the back uh, of the heel is a suede, again, just to help prevent any slipping. And uh, you know, these are beautiful shoes. I can't begin to overstate how much I love these Baron Doridi shoes. I could have a closet full of them uh, in suede, uh, in a pigskin. I could have some made out of calfskin. Um, I'm having my first pair made out of alligator. Um, beautiful shoe. So without further ado, let's try these on. So as with all bespoke shoes, they still need to be broken in. And so what uh, uh, George Glasgow Sr. would recommend is that, you know, wearing your shoes in the office for a few days to begin breaking them in on carpet and then taking a few kind of short walks in them. They don't require as much break in as say a ready to wear pair of shoes, which are gonna be uh, even stiffer uh, than a bespoke pair. 
Because bespoke shoes fit so close to the foot, they need to be broken in, uh, but once they fully break in, uh, there is no shoe that fits as well or is more comfortable than a pair made for your feet. So if you have any thoughts or questions about this particular pair of shoes, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Uh, I look forward to wearing these. You'll see me uh, wearing these in our future videos whenever we do the uh, kind of what I'm wearing section at the end. And uh, you know, absolutely beautiful pair of casuals that uh, you know, I'm really excited to be adding to my wardrobe. In today's video, I'm wearing my bespoke Chris Despis, a gray herringbone suit. Uh, this is the first suit that I had him made, my second garment for him uh, right after my wedding tuxedo. Uh, as I've said in many of these videos, this without question is the most versatile suit that I own. The nice fine gray herringbone pattern gives this gray suit some nice subtle visual texture and it's just incredibly easy to wear. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night, you can wear it to a wedding, you can wear it to a funeral. I'm wearing it with my trademark white dress shirt. Uh, my shirt today is from him or Johnny Brothers or MyTaylor.com, uh, my first shirt maker and one of my favorite shirt makers out there. Of course, in this shirt, I have a pair of our horn collar stays. I'm wearing this suit with a beautiful a white uh, Simino Godard pocket square and one of our burgundy uh, Kirby Allison Sovereign Gray ties. The pants have a single reverse pleat, tab trousers, and no cuff. I'm wearing a pair of my favorite dress socks. These are a gray small dot melange dress sock that we carry here at the Hanger Project. The glasses I'm wearing today are from Francois Pinton in Paris, uh, and they're just a nice, simple acetate frame. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me. Oh, 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 oh